Change in Washington. President Obama is set to announce some important changes at the center of his administration. Tom Donilon is resigning as national security advisor. Officials say Susan Rice, the controversial U.N. ambassador, will take Donilon's place. Major Garrett is at the White House. Major, good morning. Well, good morning, Nora and Charlie. In every White House, and this one in particular, the National Security Advisor is the president's top and most reliable voice on military and foreign policy because that person coordinates all those issues with the Pentagon, State Department, CIA, Homeland Security, and other interested parties. And in that role, Tom Donilon carried out that with effectiveness and power and bureaucratic efficiency. And today, in a few hours, the president will announce that Donilon is resigning and will be replaced by Susan Rice, longtime U.N. ambassador to the president, and replacing Susan Rice at the U.N. will be Samantha Power, a former official here at the White House dealing with humanitarian issues. Now, Donilon will leave the White House in early July, but not before guiding the president through three very important foreign policy events. The first this weekend, the president's summit meeting in Palm Springs with the president of China, Xi Jinping, and then at the G8 summit in a couple of weeks in Northern Ireland, and then the president's three-country trip to Africa. Donilon will be crucial to the president in all three of those events, departing in July. The Senate does not have any voice in this. There's no confirmation squabble the president has to face. This is a self-executing choice, and Susan Rice will replace Tom Donilon in that vital White House position on foreign policy and national security. Does it suggest any change in American foreign policy? It very well might, Charlie and Nora. Susan Rice is known to be more active on the humanitarian side of foreign policy, a more of an interventionist, but the president has been extremely cautious in Syria, the issue that is dominating the headlines and global concern about that conflict now spinning out of control, possibly and becoming an entire wider regional conflict. The fall of Qusair, a rebel-held territory for about a year now to the Syrian regime, led by Bashar al-Assad is a huge concern to the administration. What role Susan Rice will play in that will be a coordinating one, but she might have a stronger voice for intervention. We'll have to see. Major, what does it mean this administration had wanted Susan Rice to be Secretary of State but couldn't get confirmed by the Republicans uh, in the Senate, and so that went to John Kerry? What does this mean now that they're placing her inside the White House as the National Security Advisor? It's an excellent question, Nora. When the calculation was made on largely political grounds, as you just outlined them, that Susan Rice would be too tough a fight in the Senate for Secretary of State, it was then conveyed to her that in all likelihood at some point, probably this summer, Tom Donald would step down and Susan Rice would be elevated to that position. I can tell you, as a longtime Obama loyalist, Susan Rice has wanted the position of National Security Advisor since 2009. She was passed over for James Jones, the president's first National Security Advisor, and has always looked at this position as the one she would like to have, and now she'll get it. Major, thank you so much.